Alright, we're back at the Burnett River. I did spot a tilapia over here. He's not looking too healthy either for a tilapia. Let's see if I can zoom in on it. Where'd it go? There it is. It's really sucking in the big ones. The colour of this um, water doesn't look good for it. But um, I'll try to get a better shot of it. There we go. Tilapia were introduced from South Africa, I think, and they're a mouth brooder. And they can pretty much handle any sort of water compared to most native fish. They are a severe threat to native fish. Um, where'd he go? He's back up again. Yeah, they are a severe threat to native fish because they they will eat their fingerlings and fight for for their uh, habitat and their space to live and everything like that. Um, this water is disgusting today. It's like a black sludge, like I keep saying. Yet yeah, that tilapia seems like it's pretty much breathing oxygen from the surface. It's pretty slow. But it's still alive. And like I said, that, that's disgusting coloured water. So I'll come along here and see if there's another tilapia behind it now has popped up. Uh, where'd that one go? So there's that one there and that one there. So there's two tilapia now and they're both sucking oxygen on the surface. So that water quality can't be too crash out. We'll walk along here a bit further. I wanted to see how far this uh, black water goes for. Because like I said yesterday, it wasn't here and today it is. There's another tilapia over here. Um, he ain't looking too crash out either. Oop. He just, there's another one there. <laughs> that duck actually scared that one down. So we'll come along here. And uh, hopefully there's no ducks in this little section here to scare them if there's any tilapia in this in this little part. So we'll have a look and we'll see. But as you can see it's still black. Black, filthy water. And that black filthy water pretty much runs into the Burnett River in about 40 metres or 50 metres or so. So um, it's really not a great, a great look. We'll cut credits straight across here. We won't take that bend over there and I'll show you where it runs into the Burnett River. And hopefully it's a bit cleaner towards um, the, the outlet into the Burnett River. Right, so this creek wraps back around here. We'll just get this edge. And it's still pretty much the same colour there, as you can see. A filthy black. We'll keep following it over here.
Most of the tilapia are in here are only around probably 300 grams. Don't know what that is in the other. Half a pound maybe, a little bit over half a pound. But I have seen them in the Burnout River and they, they would appear to be around 25 to 30 centimetres long, which could be, could be a kilo or so. Yeah, it's a really thin part of the creek here, but still black. Right, we'll come around. There's a lot of stuff in the mangroves here too. Plastic cups, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Plastic cups, crushing under my feet. This stuff all ends up in the river. This is basically, before the river, you've got to start in these areas here. And I'm pulling a lot of this out. So that it doesn't get into the river. There's no use cleaning the river and then coming up to clean here. <clears throat> There's the creek winding around here. It's getting really shallow now. So that would probably mean that there won't be too many tilapia or anything sitting around here. It's only inches deep there. <clears throat> They'd have no trouble crossing it at night, but during the day, I doubt they'd venture over it, birds and stuff hanging around. They just seem to be happy to lay in deeper holes and, and, um, and relax. I think they're relaxing, they might be starving for oxygen. Right, hopefully I can get up to here before this runs out of footage, out of uh, battery. You can see the Burnett River is just there now. All I gotta do is get over this log. There's still the run out tide. Oh, there's a lot of tilapia there. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, they'll, they'll pop back up, there's no doubt. All I've got to do is sit here and wait. This area here wouldn't be more than four metres long. You can see those tilapia right there. And the Burnett River is right there. We'll go over and have a quick look. That's the entrance of the Burnett River there. Runs through a couple of little overflow pipes there and straight into the river. So, as soon as you get a bit of fresh, they're straight in there. Yeah, that's not a bad size to up here. Let's see if they pop back up. There's one right in front of me. It's coming up. It's like they slowly float back up to the surface once they relax. But the slightest movement is enough to send them straight back down again. This car that's just gone behind me Certainly won't help either.
but I know that there is definitely at least a dozen or so tilapia in here. There's one right under that branch there. And there's one behind him, it's slowly coming up to the top. There's three there now, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I don't know whether that's actually showing them all very clearly or not. But uh, they are definitely what would appear to be sucking in oxygen. surface they are they aren't small they are definitely big enough to to eat if someone wanted to eat them see it's only a tiny little puddle of water they just don't want to go past that that drain As soon as I move, they are so, well what would seem to be, their eyesight just seems to be great. So you watch, as soon as I move, they disappear. Anyway, I'm going to film some more in a minute, so if you'd like to watch it, you can upload, uh, you can subscribe to YouTube, and that's uh, Burnout River Clean. If you subscribe to the Burnout River Clean, you will be supporting removing rubbish and hopefully tilapia from the waterways. Thank you.